My name is Ali Simmons. I am the head men's soccer coach at Jacksonville University. I was growing up when I was like three, four, five, six. I used to play with my dad. Uh, we used to play against other son and dad teams. Then became obsessed with it. Played every single day. Jumpers for goalposts is the old saying where I'm from. At halftime or in school when they took the balls away because we broke too many glasses. We used to play with tennis balls. Um, yeah, I fell in love with it. I knew it was always going to be a big part of my life very early on. So I was at Southampton for a little bit, I got to Bournemouth and I got released from Bournemouth and there was a question there and then I went to Hartbury for a little bit and as I went to university I had, I had very grounded parents who always made sure that I took my academics seriously um, and as I began to realise the levels and I wasn't at the level required to, to make a career in it I started to look at other aspects um, and then I, I, I kind of helped out with the 10 year old team when I was 14, 15, so I've always kind of had a hand in it. Um, and then it just kind of grew from there. In terms of teaching, I want to make sure that they're in a safe environment. That's always the most important thing for me, um, where they, they're free to express themselves. Um, they enjoy going and training every day. That's all, again, that's really important. In terms of a philosophy, a pragmatic, uh, I think that there are 50% of the people on the, on the field aren't on your team and if you don't take into consideration what they do via scouts and tendencies then you're missing a trick. Um, but yeah, playing enjoyable, pragmatic soccer, winning games, obviously that's, that's the main focus um, and having a group that represents the institution that we're at well is, is, really, is really important to our staff. I think uh, we, uh, we enjoy playing against teams that are so, if I find may, rigid because they're easier to game plan for. Um, whereas if you can change a few little tendencies, and I'm not set talking wholesale changes, but if you can make some little modifications uh, and just ask some different questions. Um, it's a phrase we use with the team a lot, like are we asking the right questions? If the team plays with a really high line, like are we asking those questions in behind, it's kind of taking what they give us. Um, so making sure that they understand that and that we as a staff help support them as they figure out each puzzle, each game. Um, sometimes we tell the boys it's like an exam. They don't necessarily love the comparison to the academics, but every game is, is an exam. Every game is you study, you train, you do your work in the classroom, on the field, and then you've got an exam at the end of the week on the Tuesday night for an hour and a half. They present a problem how are you going to fix the problem? How are you going to overcome it and, and come away with something? And that problem changes every game. And the aim is you learn and by the end of the final exam, conference and conference playoffs and hopefully NCAA tournament time, you've learned a, enough and you've had enough good experiences that you are able to put that into practice on the big stage. I'm a very glass half full person. I think we, me, and, me and Coach Buckner had a conversation in this very room about a month ago and kind of talks about how lucky we are. Like we get, to, we get to coach student athletes who are playing a sport that they love in a safe environment while they're getting an education with academic support and they're getting a support system in every aspect of their health and they're getting advice in their classes and they're growing as, as young men while playing soccer and we get to be a part of that. Um, and if you're not grateful for that and the fact this campus is on beautiful water and in one of the greatest states and we're 20 miles from the beach, I mean, there's a, there's a ton of things it's JU specific. Um, in terms of college athletics, I think you just focus on where your feet are at. Um, people could talk about how things impact you and there's no real point talking about things until they, until they come to your door, so to speak. Um, and we're in a great place here at JU and our, and our program in particular, we're, uh, we're very fortunate.